Welcome back to the Makers Gonna Learn YouTube Ooh. channel. Happy, Happy Wednesday. Hump day. Wednesday. Um, we're halfway through the week. Ooh. Thank goodness. Um, and y'all, I think you are in for an absolute treat today. Um, first of all, treat. We have Mary Catherine with oh, us. Hi. That is our <laughs> first treat. Wow. Um, our second treat is we have this super cool new like resin technique so that fun. we're going to show you guys now i'm just going to tell you um me and alicia have dubbed mary catherine <laughs> the resin expert here in the office officially i love resin because here's the thing it was like you jumped into resin immediately got perfect results <laughs> me and alicia no <laughs> I think it's, it's hard. I think it's because you have more patience than we do. I think right. we're just not patient. <laughs> well, we just want to be. I just didn't know what done. I'm getting into. <laughs> I'm just trying it all out. So yeah. we Love are going. It. Yes, and it's this. First of all, this project is it's so, so cute. stinking cute. I literally. I mean, you all saw it in the in the thumbnail. I'm sure, but it is once you see it in person. Oh, it's just so good and I it literally, turned out so good it did and yeah, I can't wait so to pretty. show you guys exactly how to make this now um, spoiler alert we are going to be using one two three or four three 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 MGL cut files two cut files one MGL font so there you go. if you are not a member and you want to recreate this um, we are still doing the dollar deal right now where you can hop in on our membership for one dollar all it what this is going to do is it's going to give you unlimited access to our website for seven days plus on top of that you are going to get 20 download credits like that's nice. five cents a download tell yeah. tell you you're our graphic artist expert okay where can you find uh nowhere cut files or fonts for no, five cents a piece really nice cut files too. extremely yeah. nice and the thing is is you oh. can pick and choose if you want 20 <laughs> fonts okay here's another question okay. if you had 20 download credits would you do a mixture of fonts and cut files, or would you just do all fonts or all cut files? I have no idea. I think I, mm, I don't know, because you could use your fonts all the time for all your projects. I know. Here's my thing. But if I got files. if I got in our website and realized I only could pick twenty, Maybe. I would think I would just become a member. <laughs> I would just immediately <laughs> become a member, and so I could get access to all of them. Exactly. Twenty is not enough. No, it's really not. But. For those that are still unsure about, you know, do you do I even like these people? Do I want to learn from these people? Because you know what? We get it. I completely <laughs> understand. There are some people that I truly can't learn from. I can't. And it's nothing mm. against them. I'm sure they're great people. And I know for a fact that there are people out there that can't learn from me. They're like, geez, she talks around everything and doesn't get to the point fast enough. I get it. I get it. But you all can... Check out our website free for or for a dollar. You can check it out for seven days. Love it. Now I do want to be clear: if you don't cancel within that seven days, then you will become a monthly member. But monthly membership is still absolutely worth it, a hundred percent. So you literally have nothing to lose at this point. Like it's it. one dollar. What can Love you? It. What can you buy? You can't even. Get you can't anything. even. You, get you can't even dollar. get anything from the dollar the tree dollar for a dollar. Dollar twenty five. Yep. I mean, it's a no brainer yep. for me. <laughs> so, just letting you guys know that I do have something special that I'm going to tell you guys about here in a little bit, probably while we're working with resin, because we are going to have a lot of like cure time in between that. So, mm -hmm. stick around for that little announcement. You're not going to want to miss that. It's so good. I'm excited. But with all that being said, are you ready to start crafting? Let's go. Also, I have noticed myself clapping doing this a lot <laughs> and I was on TikTok last night. I feel like I've talked about TikTok all day first of all. I need to get off the brain rotting app. <laughs> Number one, I need to get off the brain rotting app. Number two, did you, I did not realize there was a millennial clap. Obviously it's, I don't, I don't know. It's a thing that, I don't know. Anyway, I was just letting you guys know that. So, Let's start talking about the project. I'm not gonna Don't clap. clap. <laughs> I'm not gonna clap. I'm just gonna do this right here. No <laughs> clapping. Let's go overhead and look at this. Oh my gosh! First of all, 
can let's look at it all together first look at the little the little tag on here look i'm going to take this out so you guys can see this a lot better but i wanted to take a minute to look at this tag because oh my goodness that's beautiful um it's just so cute like this print and cut and can we take a minute also to look at this glitter cardstock like look at this color <laughs> it's it's so i don't know it's just beautiful i love it i'm obsessed so i want to take this out of the bag i kind of hate to because i don't want to ruin it but i want to show you guys what this really looks like up close so i will take it out right now and then i'll put it back because this is going I hope she's not watching, but this is going to Asher's teacher. <gasps> Look how pretty. I'm so obsessed with this. And what I love about this, because the one we're going to be making today, I'm actually um, going to be making one for his other teacher. His teacher's team teach. So he goes back and forth between Miss Collins and Mr. Sandage. So I'm actually going to be making one with Mr. Sandage's Orange. name on it. Huh? It's showing up so nice. Is it showing up yes. so good? So I'm gonna be yes. making one with Mr. Sandage's name on it, but I don't think that even with this glitter, I don't think it's too girly. Mm -hmm. Personally, I just think it's a cool project. Mm -hmm. I think that could still be considered, you know, semi-manly. But we'll choose like a different font. We'll choose like a more, a more masculine font for this one. <laughs> so anyway, let's go over everything that you are going to need for this project. So to start out with, you do need your base. Now, this eraser came from Amazon. Amazon. It is linked down below. It's just a standard wooden handle eraser. Honestly, guys, this feels so good. It's nice. I would much rather have an eraser as, as a teacher myself. I would much rather have an eraser like this than those plastic expo mm -hmm. ones. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, honestly, just like... Just the wooden one is, it's a very nice eraser. So you do need a dry erase eraser. You don't have to do it on this. You can do it on pretty much any surface. As long as you take the techniques that we're gonna teach, you can do it on any surface you want, okay? So you do need your base. We are going to be working with UV resin today. Y'all, J Diction is hands down our favorite UV resin. And let me just tell you, this bottle right here this still has resin in it, but this big bottle, we have had it, which you all know us, we don't do a ton of resin projects. Maybe if we did a lot more resin projects, we would it would have kind of gone away faster, but we still have, I'd There's say a half a bottle of this left. Mm -hmm. And I know we ordered it a year and a half or more ago. So you don't have to have a lot. Um, for this project and that's what I love about UV resin and that's really going to be the secret is you're going to do this in thin layers that's go going to give you the absolute best result is doing it in thin layers and curing every thin layer so we are using the J Dixon UV resin of course with UV resin you do have to have some type of UV light you can get the gel nail lights you can even take it outside if it's a sunny day. If it's sunny, I will not use this light and I actually take my stuff outside, but you do need a UV light. Now I know that we're gonna get a question about, about wattage. So this one specifically, I'm pretty sure is a 10 watt. I would get higher than a 10 watt. I would probably get a 20 or above. That's going to cure it faster, but I, I think the 10 watt will work. So just keep that in mind. This one specifically is a 10 watt, okay? Next up, for resin, you are going to need some type of gloves. Yes, I do have just one glove, but I'm only gonna be using it on one hand. I'm not gonna touch the resin with my other hand. So we do have gloves to protect yourself. Um, we have some popsicle sticks. This is gonna come in really handy to spread that UV resin out. So we do have tongue dispenser to depress is it it's a tongue depress depressor it is yeah Perfect. technically it's a really <laughs> in, in my head it's a really big popsicle stick yeah exactly <laughs> um we do also have a lighter what this is going to do if it works oh okay hmm aha there it went 
think it's about out. So what this is going to do is this is going to pop any of the bubbles before you cure if you do see bubbles. If you want to have a, um, a lighter handy, that it really does help. Now somebody just asked, does UV resin expire? Hmm. There's not a date on here. So as long as it's still running, it's not cured. I say go right. for it. Go for it. Um, we do also have cellophane bags. This is just to do the gift wrapping once you're done. Um, and then kind of the star of the show, other than the resin, is going to be our glitters. So we got these glitters from Little Lattes. They are The shop is linked down below. These are so pretty. And all we did was we mixed them together. So this is a mix of fine and chunky glitter. That's how it came. This is Coco, the name of this one. Once again, it is a mix, fine and chunky glitter. This one is Silver Moon. I just love that silver. It's so pretty. And then the last one is Ink. And we did get all of these. These are all two ounce bags from Little Lattes Glitter. They have some amazing glitter. And then for the, for the composition book, this part of the eraser, we are going to be using the Zycoto sticker paper. That's actually a sticker that we've put on there and we just put resin over. So we are gonna be using sticker paper for this project today. And then for the tag, we're just gonna be using standard cardstock, uh, glitter cardstock from Celebration Warehouse, and then whatever ribbon you have laying around. Super cute. Now, it does look like there is a lot on the table today. So, <laughs> I don't want you guys to get very, I don't, I don't want you to get overwhelmed just because you see a lot on our table. This project is going to be kind of design space heavy, but also it's, it's pretty like, I don't know how to say this. What am I, the step, like there's quite a few steps. So let's just go ahead and hop over to design space, hop over to our share screen. And we are going to start the designing process because this is what is going to take a little bit. And then once that prints and starts cutting, we can start assembling our um, chalkboard eraser. So if you have any questions, now is a great time to answer them. I'll just actually answer some questions um, before we start. Um, Gabrielle says, do you have a link for the UV light? Gabrielle, it should be linked down below for you. If it's not, I will have someone add it down there for you. Um, like I said, if you don't have a lot, you can use the sun. It actually says on the back, it gives you a time frame. So if it is, you can take it out in the sunlight. This says a UV LED lamp that is six to nine watts takes 30 to 85 seconds. Okay. Oh, that's just a regular UV lamp, not an LED. So this one is an LED. So it should only take about a minute to two minutes to mm -hmm. cure. Um, if you have a, a UV lamp, it says two to four minutes. Sunny day, if you just take it out in the sunlight, it says two to four minutes. And then if it's a cloudy day, you can still take it outside to cure because obviously there's still UV rays. It's just a little bit cloudy, so there's not as many. Um, it will take 10 to 15 minutes to cure, but even if it's cloudy, you can still take it outside to cure. Now, um, if you have any more questions, always drop them in the comments. I will try my best to go through and answer them as we go. Um, but let's hop back to our share screen and let it, let us, um, start. So Kristen says the link for UV light and torch light are there, but they go to Amazon and not to the actual product. Yes, it does make sense. We will get that fixed. Absolutely. Um, Denise also says, I know you're using UV resin. Can I use regular resin? If you are familiar with regular resin, you absolutely can. Um, it's just going to take a little bit longer to cure. It's going to be you, if you've worked with regular resin, you know the cure time and everything else. It's just UV resin is a lot more user friendly for um, hobby crafters that we have here on our channel and the fumes it doesn't have the chemical fumes like regular a b part two part resin has so that's why we a lot of times we stick to uv resin okay 
I will now stop answering questions and actually start designing. <laughs> We've tried to go there three times at this point. Okay, so here you can see, which I have our sticker blown up way big, just so you guys could see it better. But you see here we have our sticker and we have our cute little tag. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna scroll over here and we're gonna start designing here in this area. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna hop over to Makers Gonna Learn and I am going to grab the files that we need. So the first one that you need is this composition book file. You can find it linked down below, but you can also search our website. It's called Composition Notebook. To download this, what you're gonna do is click the arrow pointing down. It's going to come in as a zip file. You're gonna double click that double click that folder, unzip it. Now it's unzipped. We're gonna go back over to Makers Gonna Learn and get the rest of the files that we need. And then from there, we will start assembling. So the next one that I want to use is the Rockstar Teacher mm -hmm. one. You're a Rockstar Teacher. So it is your a, now were the, are these new? No. Okay. Oh. Rockstar teacher. I'm just going to search this in just a minute. If it will come <laughs> up. Oh. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh wow. What? Oh what? Uh, okay. Cut files. Let's try it again. Okay, let's try it again. Let's just do rock star wow, teacher. It does not want to open. Is it not opening? Up? Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. So weird. That is so what odd. What in the world? That is that is weird. Okay, so what you're gonna do is we are going to download this one as well, and then we are going to choose a font now. Um, what about the pattern file? We don't need a pattern file for this one. We actually made the, what looks like the composition book out of glitter. So we don't need that composition book pattern file. So we're going to- it looks just like it, a pattern. It does look <laughs> just awesome. like a pattern. It does, but we are not going to use that today. Um, so what I'm going to do, I actually want to go to our new fonts because there are some really cool ones in there. Like part of me wants to do this one for Mr. Sandage, but oh, like, yeah, that's cute. let's, let's just look and see. Mm. I kind of like mm -hmm. this one. I do too. Let's just do that because mm -hmm. I feel varsity like it's a school feel varsity yeah. school. It's a good one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to download teammate. I'm going to double click this, and this is to download this font. Here you can see it comes in as an OTF. I'm gonna double click that again, and I'm going to install that on my computer. Um, resolve automatically, good. Now what I'll need to do, once I have downloaded a new font, we are going back to Design Space. Now, first thing you need to do is you need to save. We're gonna click Save. And we are going to view, we're gonna reload Design Space so that Design Space can recognize the new font that we have just installed on our computer, okay? Once we have done that and that has come back up, we're going to scroll over here and we are going to start uploading all of the files that we just downloaded. So I am going to come back over to my finder. I need the composition, PNG because we are not doing, we're not cutting this out of vinyl, so we're just doing the PNG version. Actually, that one, let's do this again. Let's do this one more time. You can do the SVG version of this, and I, the reason I'm going to do the SVG version mm -hmm. is because you can flatten, but we're mm -hmm. gonna have to slice some things out of this line because I don't want Mr. Sandage's name to be so tiny. And if you all were here yesterday, you remember that we were having issues 
um, slicing if once an offset was added and flattened. So we'll just do the SVG and we'll flatten it together. You can do either or PNG or SVG for this one. It really doesn't matter because we are going to have to flatten it all together at some point. So we're just going to start with the SVG. We're going to upload that to our um, library. And the next thing that we need to do is we're going to upload the Rockstar Teacher before I go anywhere just so I have all of my files in one area. So Rockstar Teacher here, and it is a PNG. So we're just gonna drag and drop that in here. We do want this as a complex file. We're gonna click continue. It does come in with a transparent background. Beautiful, apply and continue. And we do want this as a print and cut, which is a PNG, portable network graphic. Now, just because this is a PNG, you can, if you look over here, you technically could choose it as a cut image and you could cut this out of vinyl if you wanted to. We are not going to today, but just so you are aware, for this specific one, it is possible, okay? So we're gonna choose print and cut image, upload that, and then we are going to add these two to our canvas. Beautiful. And now we're just going to separate them and we will work on them separately. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to put the teacher's name here inside this composition book. So I'm going to pop over here to the text. I'm going to, whoops, uh, bring this bad boy over here. We're going to go to our system fonts because we are using a Maker's Gonna Learn font, which is going to be found in your system fonts. And it was teammate. Beautiful. And now I'm just going to type in Mr. Sandage. Hmm. Yes, I think that's it. I hope that's it. Oh, no. <laughs> I think that's it. I think that's it. Okay. So I want to, I want this to be pretty like noticeable. That's so cute. I love this. I love it. I'm gonna do it down just a little bit because I don't want it as big, but do you see how it's very distracting how that line goes through the middle? Never fear. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna get rid of that, okay? Um, so, what we are going to, well, actually there's a couple of ways you can get rid of it, but I want to keep these edge pieces here and I want to keep this middle piece as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add an offset and I'm going to make it a lot smaller than that, first of all. I want it to be like 0.1. Beautiful. And then I'm going to click Apply. Now, from this point, I am going to take that offset. You see it's selected over here. The Layers panel, it says Offset. I'm going to make sure that offset is selected. I'm going to hold down my shift key and I'm going to also select the composition notebook file, okay? Now, once these two are selected, because we can only slice two layers at a time, I'm gonna come down here to slice. And then we're gonna have lots of different things going on, right? So, first thing I wanna do is I'm going to get rid of this out there I'm going to get rid of this one as well and this one. Now you can see Mr. Sandage's name really, really nice. well through that middle and those lines are still in there. Now, if you wanted to, if you just wanted that middle line completely gone and you didn't want to go through the process of slicing and deleting and all of that stuff, it is possible. All you're going to have to do is come up here to your file which now it says slice result because I did slice it, but I'm actually going to rename this real quick and I'm just gonna say composition. That way I know exactly what it is. So you can choose this, come down here to contour because we did, guys, we did select the SVG version and this is a good reason why you can mm -hmm. select the a good a good reason to select the SVG version is you can actually just contour these little pieces out if you wanted to and then it's gone mm -hmm. so it's possible 
But me personally, I don't like the looks of that. I like the looks of that line going through there. So I'm gonna go back to contour and I'm going to hide and then we'll show again because I want all of them to be there. I just think it looks so more cute. complete to me. So now that we have done that, one thing you do also need to do if you want your letters to be black, y'all know if you've been in design space that when you pull in a text, it's not a true black, it's actually a dark gray. So I'm gonna change the letters to black so that it is all black. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this file and I'm going to add an offset. Now this one, I want there to be a pretty good offset. So we're gonna go with 0.2, we'll see what 0.2 looks like. Uh, we're gonna go with a 0.25. Let's see what that looks like. Beautiful. And from there, we're gonna hit apply. Now, once again, you're like, <laughs> Lauren, you're losing me. You're losing me. I don't understand. This looks weird. Just like with the contour feature before, what we're gonna do with this offset selected, we're gonna go to contour and we're going to hide all contours, meaning that's going to make it a perfect outline or a perfect shape for this file. And now you can see, here it is, it's gray. We need to change it to white and we also need to move it all the way to the back, but y'all, Look at that now. Looks nice. So, so nice. So clean. Yes. Crisp. So fresh and so clean, <laughs> clean. So we're still not done because what is going to happen if I go to make it now? If I wanted to print this and I went to make it, tell me what's going to happen. Anybody? Oh, me, me, me. I'll tell you. It's going <laughs> to be everywhere. And it's not going to print because we have to turn this basic cut file into a print and cut. How you're gonna do that, you're gonna start with your mouse up here in the top corner, you're gonna click and you're gonna drag this bounding box all the way around it so that everything is selected and you can tell that from what is highlighted on the right side of your screen, okay? So from there, with all three layers selected, we are going to come down here to the bottom and we're gonna hit flatten. Now do you see how it put it in one layer? It has just flattened that image from three layers into one, kind of compressed it a little bit. Um, yes, we are getting a little red arrow. It is because it is very large right now. We will size that here in just a second. But we have now flattened this cut file and turned it into a PNG. That way we can print it on our printer. So next thing that you need to do is size your sticker. So what you, what I highly suggest, bringing in your blank, whether it's an eraser, a chalkboard eraser, or whatever you're putting it on, bring it in and we are going to measure our blank. So we're looking at, it's actually, it's between five and three, it's actually five and seven eighths by, it's such an odd, odd measurement. We're gonna go one and a half. We're actually gonna go six by one, okay? Did I say one or one and a half? It's one and a half. Now that I've said it out loud. Yeah, it's one and a half. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a shape we're just gonna do a rectangle, it's fine. And we are going to unlock it. Our height is actually pretty much where it needs to be, but our width needs to be six. So this is gonna be a representation of your eraser or of your blank. So what I need to do now is I'm actually going to move this back behind our sticker, our composition sticker, and I'm going to size this down to where it will fit beautifully in the middle of our blank. Now, this is where you can make it as large or as small as you want, depending on how much glitter you want there to be. I think this is mm -hmm. a really good size. So we're just going to leave it like that. And now, we need to build our tag to go with our little gift wrapping. So 
first thing that you need to do, and actually we're gonna go back to uh, Maker's Gonna Learn. We're gonna go to Cut Files. Um, because the shape that was used for, so let me pull, let me find, where's the little taggy, taggy tag? Okay, this can be found in Cricut Design Space. That scallop edge can be found, and I'll show you where you can find it. So if you go back to shapes, it can be found here, but guess what? Mm. That's a Cricut Access file. So we want to use a Maker's Gonna Learn file. So did you guys know that if you go to Maker's Gonna Learn, if you look at the name of what is in Cricut Access, so like this one is Sun Silhouette, this one is Segmental Arch, the one we're wanting is Scallop Circle. If you go back to Maker's Gonna Learn and you type in Scallop Circle, look at what pops up. Wow. We have it. <laughs> we have it so you don't have to have Cricut Access. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, once again, I'm gonna unzip that. We're gonna pop back over to Cricut Access, or psh, Cricut Design Space, excuse me. And we are gonna upload that scalloped circle. Once again, I like to work with an SVG at when at all possible, because I can change the color and really um, make it my own and then flatten it. So I chose the SVG version. We're gonna upload that and add it to our canvas. Once it is in there, we are going to size it pretty much based on however big you want it to be. So I think in comparison to our eraser, whoa. <laughs> okay, we're back. In comparison to our eraser, I feel like this is a pretty good size tag. So I'm gonna change the color to white you guys can change it to literally whatever color you want. You don't have to do white. You could do like a really cute, um, like very pale pink would be cute. Like, let's see if we, let's move this up. There's so many different routes you can go with this, mm -hmm. but we're just gonna stick with white today. So what you're gonna do is you're then going to size your little saying here to fit within your tag. Now I'm gonna move it down a little bit and the reason I'm gonna move it down is because I want to add a circle up here so that I can go ahead and put my ribbon through it. This is something that you can do if you want to. It's not, a ne it's not necessary. Um, you can just use a hole punch. A lot of times I will just use a hole punch because it's just faster. Um, than having to slice and all, everything else. But if you want to, you can add a hole here and slice through it. And I'm just gonna leave that there. I'm actually gonna, side, we'll side it down just a little more. I'm gonna leave it there for right now because we're gonna have to slice through two different things because we, if you remember, we have an offset and we have stacked cardstock on top of a really pretty, um, like a lavender pinky glitter cardstock. So what we're gonna do first, before we flatten everything together and slice, I'm going to take our scalloped circle and I'm going to add an offset. You can choose how large or how small you want your offset to be. Um, I think I wanna do, Let's try point one. If you go too much with this scallops, you kind of lose the integrity of the scallops. So a point one for this one is really, really good. So we're just gonna click apply. We're gonna leave it black for the time being. And we're gonna take this circle before I flatten, because remember guys, when we flattened yesterday and trying to slice through an already flattened image was not working for some reason. So before I flatten, I'm choosing my circle here and my scallop circle here by clicking on this, it will turn it green and select it on your canvas. And then I'm going to scroll down, hit the shift key on my keyboard and click the scallop circle. So now you can see they're both green. From there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the slice function. Now, without moving, without moving, we are going to take that same circle that we just used to slice the white and we are going to select it we're going to scroll down to where it says offset 
Once again, with our shift key held down, we're going to select our offset as well and hit slice again. What that is going to do is we can now get rid of this slice result, this slice result, and this guy. And you can see when we move this back to the front and we'll move this back to the front, that circle is all the way through and it's perfectly aligned. That's why we're gonna slice out our circles before um, flattening our image to our white first layer, okay? So now that we have our circles sliced, we're going to select the You Are a Rockstar Teacher. And down here with the white scallop circle, we're going to press the shift key, select that slice result, the white scallop circle, and we are going to flatten them together. And that's, <laughs> that is all the design space. <laughs> nice. That was a lot of design space. Um, and that was a lot of functions that you all may not be f as familiar with um, as you may have thought you were. One thing that is great about these videos is you can stop, you can pause, you can go back, you can rewatch 10,000 times if you wanted to. If you're not understanding, I highly suggest go back, pause, do one step, go back and hit play, listen, pause it again, do the next step. That's how I personally learn. So really right now on a live, it's just best to take it all in and not try to work while listening because that can get very, very confusing. So that's what I love about these videos is you can always go back, pause, rewatch, all of the good stuff, okay? So we are officially <laughs> done with Woo. the design space. We're officially done with design space. So now what I can do back in design, back in design space, we're gonna get rid of our piece that was as a placeholder for, um, we're gonna get rid of that. And I'm actually going to hide all of these over here because I don't need them now. I'm just working with these. Um, Stacy said the circle needs to be centered. I actually wanted to place it. It's not completely centered, but whoop, watch if you do this and you rotate it, it looks pretty centered. Mm -hmm. That's the cool thing about a, a circle is I would center it on a scallop. If you're doing this and tr to put your ribbon through, I would actually center it on a scallop, right. not on the center of this, because if you put it where that scallop comes together, you just don't have room. You don't have as much room and it's not like it's that noticeable. Yeah, it's a little off. Yes, us as um, perfectionists, as crafting perfectionists, we'll see that. If you're really concerned about it, you can, we'll just, oh darn it. Watch, we can do this. We can rotate this to where it's perfectly straight. And then what you can do as you can unflatten back. this, mm -hmm. choose this, and rotate this this way. And then you're good to go. Now we'll flatten these back together. It's that simple. Bada bing, bada boom. There you go. <laughs> Diane says, wow, I'm in overload. Yes, Diane, this can be overload, especially if you are not used to the functions. So like I said, Go back and rewatch. It's not a problem. Not a problem. Um, Karen, would you want to change the scallop color instead of using black? No, because it really doesn't matter. It's all that is is it's going to separate it onto a different mat. It doesn't matter what color it is on the canvas. It only matters what color you put on your mat to cut on your Cricut. A lot of times we just like color coordinating things so we know what goes where. But I know that that black offset is going to be cut out of the glitter cardstock. So I don't have to go change it unless I want to. And I really just don't feel like it right now. So back to, we're, we're finishing up in design space. I promise, I promise. <laughs> so now that we've done all of this, we're gonna go to make it, okay? Now, this is going to be, this is actually on, because it is flattened, it is a print and cut. So what we might have to do is go back and 
we're probably gonna have to hide this first, print this on sticker paper, and then mm -hmm. we'll come back and unhide this and print it on actual cardstock mm -hmm. here in a minute, okay? So we're gonna go back to make it. We're just doing the mm -hmm. sticker. Now, if I were doing this, um, do you need a piece of sticker paper or do you already have some there? Beautiful. Um, if I were doing this myself, I would do these in bulk and actually do a lot and not just one at a time. So I'm going to click continue. We are going to send this to printer. We are using the Canon TS9500 series. Um, you don't need bleed on this one because it does have a white edge, but we always use system dialog. So we're gonna click print. It pulls up behind design space. We're ch actually, I could use leave it on black and white technically because this is black and white. Um, We'll just change it to color so that it doesn't happen to us before. Um, we are feeding this from rear tray. I like to change it personally. Y'all know me, this is a personal preference. Not everybody does this. I like to change it to photo just because I feel like I get the best print and then quality best. Now, that is going to print. Um, while that prints, we can get started assembling our little guy. So. First thing that you need to do is you need to mix your glitters. Now, we did this about a pretty even amount. Um, what? You didn't do as much. Oh, okay. I was really easy on the black. JK, um, MK said she didn't do as much black. She did more silver and white, mm -hmm. and she was very easy on the black. So that may be something you all want to take into consideration is just kind of be a little bit more easy on the black because it I can see it can take over um, the colors pretty easily. So we've got this here. What we are going to do is we are going to start with a layer of resin. Um, yes, if you printed it on a sticker, I could just stick it to the glitter cardstock, but I love how this I love how this has dimension. So that's why I personally like a stacked cardstock. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a layer of resin, a very thin layer of resin on here first. And before we cure, we are going to bring in the glitter and we're just gonna like sprinkle the glitter in there and then we're gonna cure it, okay? So, it doesn't take a lot and I'm just gonna do it like this first, and then I'm gonna come in with the tongue depressor, giant popsicle stick, whatever you wanna call it, and we're going to spread it out. Now this also will help with bubbles, and it is self-layering, so if you give it some time, it will layer itself if you don't feel like it's even enough. But we just want to make sure that we coat the whole thing right now. No, I don't have on gloves at the <laughs> moment, but I'm also not touching it, so. I love the giant popsicle stick. I feel like it could cover more surface area at uh -huh. a time instead of those little ones. Yes. I feel like it just got more bang for my buck with all that. I do love smoothing, especially for this mm -hmm. project specifically. Now, one thing I am going to do is I'm going to get it up to this edge. Sadie, can they see pretty good? I don't want to pick it up and like show you guys because it really is. It needs to stay level so that it can self level. But I'm just going to kind of tap it up against this edge. But the good thing about this is if you do go over the edge, it's not a big deal. You can just wipe it off before you cure it. And you can look at it from the side and see if there are places that still need smoothing out. And I'm just gonna lay this over here. And I think I'm just gonna... So if you all have baked a lot, you know that when you're baking a cake, you kind of pick up your pan and smack it down on the thing and it <laughs> levels it out. 
I'm gonna do that with this. <laughs> so now that that is pretty level, okay, we, the stick is called a craft stick. In a doctor's office, it's kind of called a tongue depressor. <laughs> so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our glitter. One thing I am going to do, mm, nah. is there a piece of paper over there that you can grab me? Yeah. There's one right there. I'm gonna stick it under this, that way I can funnel this back in there. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Now, all I have to do is start adding my glitter. Does anyone have any questions so far? One thing you do wanna do is make sure that you're not, if, you do, if it is kind of thick, you don't want it to be like s the glitter to be super thick because we, all, we do also have to spread that out and make it pretty, pretty even. And if you have glitter sticking off the edges, I highly suggest just coming in here and kind of pushing it back in the resin like this. That way there's no like harsh edges when you go to now. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna plug my light up. Oh goodness. And we're gonna start the curing process. Now is a great time, if you all have any questions, to ask questions. Oh, I did say that I was gonna tell you guys a little secret, okay? Now, we've not, we've not talked about this to anyone else. We've not talked about it in emails. We've not talked about it um, on the channel yet. So this is going to be a first hear it here first wow. you guys super exciting <laughs> um if you have ever thought about turning your hobby into a business kind of like what we do here tanner is going to be hosting a three-day workshop coming up the first of may and it is turn it's actually called the profit creator this is what I was talking about. Where's Alicia? Alicia's not here. <laughs> first of all, for the past three days, I have been transposing letters, like the first letter in two different words. I almost called it a profit creator. <laughs> <laughs> I had to stop myself. It is the profit creator three-day workshop where Tanner is going to teach you all of his secrets, pretty much how we run Makers Gonna Learn, um, how he started his channel, everything else. It is $7 to attend for three days. Um, Sadie is dropping the link for you guys if you want to sign up for that. Um, once again, like I said, it's May 6th, 7th, and 8th. Um, you all can do that. There is also a VIP experience where after each workshop, Tanner is gonna host a private Zoom call um, where you all can ask questions about the um, the course, the, the lesson that day, all these kinds of things. But the cool thing about it, because I know I have people here in the comments, if you are an Inner Circle member, guess what? It's free. Ooh. You all get to attend for free. Nice. Um, make sure that you use the code. It actually, it's free for Inner Circle members if you want I just now thought about, I better not give the code for free on. <laughs> if, you, if you are an Inner Circle member, <laughs> I'm not giving the, you the code on live. Um, you will be getting an email on Friday with your code to for your free ticket. Okay. <laughs> I was about to give it, I was about to give it to everybody for free. <laughs> That's Tanner awesome. would have been on me at that point. I would have been done for. Okay. <laughs> but seriously, $7? I know, $7. What? You can't beat it. That's so awesome. This looks so good already. So that's cured. Cured. We're gonna dump this back in this guy. And then 
Let's move some of this glitter out of the way. Now, what we are going to do is we're gonna add another layer of resin over top of this, and it's gonna be very thin. And this is just because I want, I'm actually gonna take these little pieces of glitter that's hanging off the edge, I'm gonna take those off. Okay, I'm just gonna add one more small layer of resin. Just because when I put my sticker down, I want it to be on a very smooth surface. So once again, probably even thinner than the other one. I'm just gonna put this on. We're gonna take our craft stick <laughs> and we're gonna smooth this guy out. And one thing I do like is if you don't know if it's gonna be enough, I always say do less to start with and if you think you need more, add more. You can always add more, but it's so much harder to take it away. So I'm just going to spread this on here like this. I do think I am going to need a little bit more because it's like not sticking to the edges as well. Now, we're just going to spread her out. And you would ask Erin to represent Canada with a VIP weekend official for her. Yes, so it's all via Zoom, so anybody can, can attend no matter where you're at. And as long if you it would be beneficial if you have questions you want to ask Tanner, specifically regarding business and starting your own business where you are turning your hobby into, um, into profit, actually. Now, one thing I do want to say, one thing, <laughs> Aaliyah says, use the code 1484, nope. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will put my glove on here in a minute. I've still not really touched the resin. So we're good. Um, one thing I do want to say is your hobby does not, now, if you're here with us, clearly crafting is one of your hobbies and that's phenomenal. It's our hobby too. But just because we are a crafting channel, what Tanner is teaching is not just for crafters, okay? It is for, if you have a hobby outside of crafting that you feel like you want to share with the world, this is gonna be perfect for that. Can we get a close up on the glitter? I'd like to see how much approximate of each, each glitter. Um, sure. Can they see that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how close. That's beautiful, yeah. <laughs> I do have to be careful though. Let me cure this and then we'll, I'll show you right? another close up. Cause I don't want it to uh, spill over. Can you answer one more question? I about sure can that? because I feel like I'm missing. Is there any way to sign up and watch at a different time because um, Carrie is traveling that week? Yes, you are actually going to get a limited replay of this workshop if you okay. sign up. So if you are traveling, no fear, my friend, you can still sign up and watch it. Perfect. It's going to be a really good one. I've been kind of like, I've been behind the scenes with what Tanner's doing and y'all, I think it's gonna be a good one, a good one. We're gonna cure this. So now is a good time for more questions. Will you be sanding it at all? I'm gonna try my best to, <laughs> to not, not have to sand, <laughs> but if you do have to sand, you can. If, you, mm -hmm. if it gets like, if you get glitter on the edges that neat like you don't want it there i would you can sand it's i mean it's first of all it's a wooden or handled eraser second of all um you can sand it you can sand resin uh, lorraine says why does the resin retract from the edges when i cure it what would cause that that's a really good question because i don't understand because honestly this one was kind of doing the same thing and that's why i added um, a layer. One thing that you could do, and I may try this here in a minute, is add a barrier mm -hmm. around your edge 
cure that real quick and then add your middle middle thing so that mm. it doesn't retract as fast. Mm -hmm. It's something you can try. Um, it's just, I, I don't know. Uh, Kelly, how much is the workshop with Tanner? Seven dollars. Seven doll hairs. That's it. Seven. Elizabeth said, I can't seem to check out. Um, I tried to sign up for Tanner's course and it won't let me pay for it. We will look at that <laughs> sales page. I thought it was ready. They said it was ready. We'll get that fixed. Thank you guys for letting us know. It's still kind of sticky. So we are going to keep on curing. Y'all. I'm pretty proud of myself for this red. Are you so loving far. it? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm proud of this red. It was a great blank. I think it was a, I don't know, I think it was a little bit forgiving too. I feel like those edges are real, I don't know, I just feel like it It just it stayed right in that edge. Mm -hmm. So nice. My edges are a little more rough because mm -hmm. I've got glitter sticking off the edge. Mm -hmm. So I may try I, to add glitter. I was not as gung-ho with my glitter. I did like, like, sprinkle it with my oh. fingers. So that's oh, what I just went. Like. <laughs> you were just pouring it on there. You know. But that's great. I, yeah. Okay. Perfect. Um, everybody's having the same problem. Guys, I'm so sorry. I thought that that was fixed. Um, if you could text Brooks, Sadie, he can get that fixed for us real quick. So what we're gonna do now, she's got the glove on. I've got the glove, Woo. got the glove. Let's not worry about the workshop right now. This was kind of a soft launch for the workshop anyway, so you all are gonna be getting an email about it. You're gonna hear lots about it. So you're gonna have plenty, plenty of time to sign up. Um, so what we're gonna do now, and this is the trick. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut, I'm gonna take my glove back off and we're gonna cut our <laughs> sticker that I've not done yet, that I could have been doing while I cured the resin, but I didn't because I forgot. So let's go back and let's try this again. We are going to add our sticker paper. Let's move this and I'll put this in view so you guys can see. We're gonna add our sticker paper to our mat, just like that. We are using this printable sticker paper we're doing the green liner because that's just the one that I picked. So that was the quickest one layer. And we're gonna load this. I'm gonna move my star wheels first. I moved my star wheels yesterday for a video. So let me move them back really fast. I used to never use my star wheels and now it's like I can't live without them. We will get this clean. Oh, I still need this. Um, oh. Okay, now I'll show you the glitter. Beautiful. Now, so what the F said, okay, I'm not counting glitter. Crazy face, but every time I use black, it overpowers. Mm -hmm. That is a very good thing to point out, and that is because um, one thing that uh, MK said that she did is when you are mixing your glitters, I would, th I would think, this is just my thoughts, is you do 40% white, 40% silver, 20% black. So it's like, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, yep. you're not doing equal, half and half. Equal of the lighter colors. Equal then, parts yeah. of the lighter colors. So your mixture is going to be, let's say, we do it in tablespoons. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Oh, it, it did it cut? Okay, it cut. Beautiful. Um, you would do one tablespoon of white, one tablespoon of silver, a half a tablespoon of black. Mm -hmm. If not a quarter. Because right. you can always add more, but you exactly. can't take you can't pieces take it of away. glitter out. Mm -hmm. So, 
That is a really good question. Somebody asked, what is the star wheel's purpose? So I'm glad you asked that question. I love these questions that are not necessarily specific craft related, but about the Cricut. So the star wheels are meant to help keep your mat and what is on your mat in line. So I used to never use my star wheels and Tanner would always look at me and say, you're wild for that, for not using your star wheels. Until <laughs> all of my materials started like moving around on my mat and I was like, oh, so that's what my star wheels are for? Uh. <laughs> yeah, anyway, that's what the star wheels are for, is to keep everything on there converting measurements like a boss. Megan, you know, math is like, <laughs> math is my strong suit, y'all. I love math and science. That's awesome. Okay. So here is the secret sauce when you are putting stickers on your resin. So you wanna start out with a very smooth surface, which we have done. So ensure that you have a smooth surface. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put our sticker on here, just like this. Now, I'm gonna put my glove on. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put just the tiniest bit of resin here, and we're gonna take our finger and we're going to move it around and seal in the edges of this sticker and then cure it, and then we'll do our final top layer. This is the secret, the secret. sauce. So you can either put it on your finger, you can put it on the sticker, whichever you prefer, but we're gonna just take a little bit here and we're going to rub it on the edges and all over our sticker. Just sealing that in with a very thin layer to make it look like it was completely made in this, in this project. So now that we have sealed in those edges, I'm gonna grab my light and I'm going to cure that real quick. Now, this will not take very long to cure because it is so um, thin. Did we get the checkout page fixed? Beautiful, guys, the checkout page is fixed. I love it. <laughs> um, Carrie asked, where are we located? We're located in East Tennessee. East Tennessee represent North of Knoxville, northeast of Knoxville. Yes, Natalie, this is UV resin. Hands down our favorite resin to use. Love it. Now, I think that should be, oh, it's still a little sticky. Still just a little sticky. Christine said she might have missed it with the blowtorch she used. I don't think we've had to. No. So. I did not use it, and let me tell you why. Mm -hmm. um, I have it handy in case I see that there are a lot of bubbles because what the heat does from the light, you can use a regular lighter. You can use a, a, a grill lighter. You can use a regular lighter. I thought there for a minute I was going to have to have go back to my makeup. <laughs> <laughs> I keep a lighter in my makeup bag, guys. <laughs> not for what you think. I keep it for my lashes. Um, <laughs> anyway, and I don't burn them off. <laughs> I don't. Um, it's for, and but with this specific project, it's very forgiving. It's still a lot kind of sticky. Anyway, um, for this project, um, the glitter is actually very forgiving and you can't really see bubbles, but if there is an instance where you are making a project that doesn't have glitter or it's just a solid surface and you don't want to see bubbles, you can use the lighter to pop the bubbles. What you're gonna do, and I'll show you here in a minute, like I'll put some resin on it and I'll go over it with this um, lighter. And then you're not gonna be able to see any bubbles pop because you're, I mean, the glitter's gonna cover it up, but I'll show mm -hmm. you how to do it. I was terrified to do that the first time. <laughs> To put that lighter on really there. yeah especially with with the glitter I think I went over it one time like I'm about to light my glitter on fire okay it's still just a smidgen sticky but it's okay we're just gonna go with it and add our last layer of resin Do 
So in total, once we're done, this is going to have one, two, we'll call that a half layer. It's going to have three and a three half, and half layers. layers. Yes. And I can already tell, oh, I got some on the side. Good thing I have my glove on. Wipe it off. Okay. So it shouldn't work, it shouldn't bother the glitter because most of it is encased. Exactly. It's already in sealed. resin already. Mm -hmm. Lord, we don't need another. I don't need to catch this studio on fire again. <laughs> We don't need that, guys. We sure darn don't. So once again, I'm just using my craft stick. To move it over to the sides. To the edges. Fill in all the little holes that we have. And y'all, after this, my teacher gifts are going to be done. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I'm really trying to get to these edges right now, honestly. I just want to make my edges really nice. The key to this, like I said at the first of this live, the key is patience, guys. It really is. It's just having patience to work with resin. Okay, beautiful. Now I did get some over here. It's like spilling over the side over here. So I'm just gonna take my, I'm just gonna wipe that off right there. And wipe that off. And it's starting to spill right here. I'm just gonna do that and that. Oh, and it's trying it on this side too. We might need to hurry and cure it. Ah, <laughs> I got it too close to the edge. Let me cure that part real quick before it goes anywhere. <laughs> Stop in your tracks. Does anybody have any questions? Um, a good font to use for the first one would be Willpower. Willpower. Oh, that didn't sound too good. Oh, I told you guys I would show you how to do the lighter. Let me do that real quick. Just very, just kind of. Actually, there's a bubble right there. And that's it. You just kind of run it over the edge. Darn dag nabbit. There we go. Okay. You can also, if you are concerned about using a lighter on it, you can also take a toothpick and just kind of poke and pop if you want to. It's gonna take it a minute. <laughs> uh, Aaliyah said, hey, I caught my mug press. First of all, Aaliyah, how did you catch a mug press on fire? <laughs> With butcher's paper? Because that's how I caught the studio on fire. <laughs> yes, you can see bubbles better when you put your light on. So it might be a good idea to just kind of run a lot over your project, look for the bubbles, and then grab your lighter and um, kind of torch those out of there. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
I guess we could be um, cutting. Cutting and printing. Yeah. I didn't even think of that. Let's go here to this one. Um, we're doing glitter cardstock. Let me take my glove off now that I'm not going to be touching that. Because I want to, I'm not going to print just yet. I'm going to cut okay. this one and then I'll send it to the printer Perfect. to cut the other one. I am going <laughs> to save that piece of uh, sticker, paper. sticker paper to reuse it. First of all, trying to load a mat with a, your non-dominant hand while you hold a light with the other one. It's not the easiest thing in the world, but we're making do. We sure are. Michelle says, sorry I'm late, Elle. I was napping. Girl, <laughs> I wish I was napping too. <laughs> I'm jealous. Jelly! Because your girl didn't sleep last night. Your girl didn't sleep. That purple is so pretty. I'm obsessed. Oh, I mean, it's not a very manly color, but I don't know. <laughs> Glitter cardstock. Done. Go. In a minute. Oh, I guess I could be doing this, though. Let me hold this back on here. Does anybody have any questions about today's project? Now, there. How many do we have with us, first of all? Cool. Cool beans. So, either our lot is just about oh. to bite the dust, or I've put too much resin because it's still like staying sticky. Also, I noticed that I do have a bubble on top of this sticker and I don't, it's about to derive me batty. Batty. Because it wouldn't come out. Anyway, sorry guys. Okay, now while we're holding this, we'll unload <laughs> this. I've at least switched to my dominant hand being the one that's working. <laughs> I will say that. I've at least switched to using my right hand to one unload the mat. One band. You know, somebody's got to run the circus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now we're going to unflatten this guy. We're going to hide him. And we actually don't need this guy. So we're going to go to make it. Is there cardstock in the printer? Yep. Beautiful. Continue. Send to printer. Once again, don't need bleed. System dialog. Print. Here. Color. Rear tray. Photo best. Done. Um, yes, Cheryl. This is Celebration Warehouse Ashley Falco paper. Excuse me. Ashley Falco paper. Is it not the bomb? It's so beautiful. Um, MK, when, while you're out there, can you grab some foam squares? Thanks. Um... Also, can you use a pen to pop it? I don't know, but you better believe I'm about to try. Actually, let's shoot. See here, I bet now that it's cured, I can't. No, it's actually like a little hole in the resin. So you know what I'm going to do? I wonder if I can fill it up. Where's my glove that I threw away? Here. I just want to see if I can fill it up. Because I could stick the pen pen tool in it. Mm, nope. I'm just going to wipe it off. Okay. Actually, it's done now. It's done. Okay, so we're going to... I feel like I have a mess on this table, guys. <laughs> it's a lot of components. I ain't going to lie. There's a lot going on. No lies to tell. I have a crafting mess. Um, we are doing this on medium cardstock. So I'm going to start cleaning up my mess. Yeah. <laughs> While that works, I'm going to start cleaning up my mess. Put this back in here. I love and all this. the functions that we learned with we did all learn the different pieces. So if this you project. if you were late uh, popping in. 
We went over so many functions today, you guys. Um, it's definitely one to go back and rewatch. So make, definitely make sure you do that. I don't want to throw that away because I think that is needed. <laughs> so let's just put that over there. We're just going to go ahead and put uh, the whole thing of glitter back in this bag. I mean, container and all. Perfect. If it'll fit, it ain't going to fit. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Yeah, uh, it is weird, Karen, but it was like this little thing right here. I don't know if you all can see this little bubble, but like I can stick the pin pin tool like down in it. I don't know. It's not super noticeable. It's just me being OCD. And what's wonderful about, gl I feel like this project with glitter specifically was forgiving because it's so reflective. Yes, it is a great, I know I heard somebody, or I saw somebody say earlier that resin worries them, like it scares them to use resin. Mm -hmm. First of all, same. <laughs> um, there's that millennial clap again. <laughs> First of all, same. It does me too, or it did because I never could, I never felt like I could get it right. Like mm -hmm. there was always something wrong. This time making, number one, having patience. I'm gonna say it 20 times. Having patience and then on top of that, wow, I made that aggressively smaller. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> um, having patience, number one. Number two, thin layers. I really think that's the key is mm -hmm. thin layers and curing each individual layer. Um, oh, I did load the map backwards and it's okay. Did you guys know, fun fact, did you know that you don't just have to use your mat with this at the top? Did you know that? I did not know that. You can flip it upside down because a lot of times it gets more wear. This gets more wear, like this top a little overhead. Right. So a lot of times what happens is this top right corner gets so much wear that it, it's not sticky anymore. Right. You can flip it over and use this side too. Boom. Now is it just with that brand? No. Or it's with any mat. Any, any, any mat. Any mat. That's awesome. Yep. You can flip them around. So now we're just lining up this here like that beautiful from there you just going to grab your cellophane bag pop your eraser down in there actually I'm not going to do that I'm going to do the other one because this one I still need to take it outside and cure for a little bit longer I think it's kind of sticking pop that in Grab you some markers because what teacher doesn't love new expo markers? Um, you would then tie your ribbon around here. I did it here. I did put those together with foam squares just in case you all didn't know. Okay. And then from there, you are just going to make your ribbon and we'll flick this guy around like that and tie it on. And that's it. How stinking cute. I mean, are you That's kidding? That's so awesome. Look at that. How cute. I love it. Beautiful. So, what do you guys think? Look, aren't you proud? Yes. Love it. I do think I need to sand the edges. There's a couple spots over here and it's mm -hmm. not completely finished. Just a little tacky. Just a little tacky. I think once it sits and I'm gonna yeah. put it outside in the sun, it's gonna be yeah. perfect. It's just, just a needs time a minute. constraint. It just needs no. a minute. Mm -hmm. Yes. Look at it. I know. It's functional, it's personal. Yes. It's so cute. It's inexpensive. Yeah. But it, I mean, how much were these erasers? It was like in a big pack, maybe like 12. Oh. It was a big pack. So we have more. Yeah. Wow. Maybe not 12, maybe like six. But still, <laughs> yeah. still it comes in a bigger pack. Uh -huh. So you can make multiple. So mm -hmm. if you have multiple kids or multiple grandkids, mm -hmm. you can do a lot of and these. have you seen, did you see the glitter packs? How much I had left in yes. each of those bags? Like we like didn't you, use hardly any glitter. Yeah. Those yeah. were two ounce glitter packs, yeah. and I'm telling you, we they're gonna go a lot further than you think. At all. So. 
Oh. So much further than you think. Cheap materials. So does anybody materials. have any questions about what we did today? Um, you all know teacher gifts are close to my heart. I love a and good teacher And it's that time. Gift. It's that time of year. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you all's kiddos have started um, standardized state, state testing. Um, Asher started yesterday and it's mm. his first year doing it. So, oh my gosh. So we've been a little, we've been preparing at the house. Um, it's big. I, I literally have prayed and thanked the Lord that he did not get my test anxiety oh. and that he didn't get my anxiety period over school. I was very much a very anxious kid mm. and I, it had to be perfect or it was a failure. <laughs> if it wasn't a 100, you filling in those was, bubbles, <laughs> taking your time to fill those bubbles mm -hmm. in perfectly. I did. Mm -hmm. I did. That mm -hmm. I did. <laughs> um, so anyway, <laughs> thankfully he is not an anxious yeah. test taker and he was like, yeah, it was fine. It wasn't bad. But then my so best friend's sweet. little girl who was in his class, same, same class, um, I asked her the same question and she was like, it was pretty challenging. <laughs> and she is a straight A student. Is Asher is an A B versus B. Boys? I know. Asher's an A B student. <laughs> you know? She's straight A's. She was a lot like me and she was like, it was a challenge. <laughs> I was like, really, Emmy? So really? cute. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she she he asked her to come over. Um, was it like on Thursday? It was anyway, it, no, it was Monday, and she was like, I can't. It's a big week this week. And I'm like, that's coming from a third grader. No. She's like, I just, I just can't. I have to, I have to focus and I have to get rest and I can't. That's awesome. <laughs> wow. Yes. Third grade is I know. a tough place. Yes. Um, oh. oh, they're sold out. Are they sold out on Amazon already? Daisy Apparently. said they're sold out already. Dang. Well, darn. well, I'm, I'm sure you could find a different link that would be similar yeah we'll we'll look we'll and see look. if there's anything else on there mm -hmm. and if there is we can link it for mm -hmm. you um somebody asked what is a ds i don't know if there was a comment that they may have been meaning design space a lot of times we use the letters ds for design space as a shortened form of design space why not mix the glitter with the resin that is a good question so a lot of times if you mix the resin and the glitter together your glitter it's not gonna lay as flat as mm -hmm. if you just put the resin on and then sprinkle it over top of it and then just kind of go through and pat it down. Mm -hmm. Like it's harder to get a smooth surface if it's all mixed together, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And I feel like you just get and better be coverage chunky. if you sprinkle it over top of the wet resin and then cure. Perfect. Um, okay. Love Wait, it. do they still do those tests every two months like they Yes, or they're so they're like the way that we do it. They do it here at his school in Tennessee. Is they'll do like benchmark tests. They're called like Ames Web testing now. It's something really weird, um, just to kind of see where they're at benchmark wise. And then at the end of the year, we have what we call TCAP testing, which is the mm -hmm. overall arching. Like, what did you learn in this year? So that's what they are doing now is TCAP testing. So. Anyway, yes, I checked much earlier in the live and they're gone. Mm. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> we will look for an alternative. I don't know how they're already gone. That is crazy. I literally don't know how they're already gone. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Well, well guys, um, we will be back here live with you all next week. We do have a vid we do have videos coming out tomorrow and over the weekend. Um, we have a pretty good one coming out on Sunday. Sundays mm. is one that Alicia discovered. It's the laminated ones. Ooh. You remember those? Mm -hmm. You all are definitely not going to want to miss that one. It's a good one. It's a really, really good one. So, um, Make sure if you're not a member, you jump in, get grab that dollar deal while we are running it because awesome. like I said, you can't beat it. If you want to learn how to turn your hobby into a craft, you can click that link that is pinned at the top of the comments. $7 workshop that Tanner is so hosting May exciting. 6th, 7th, and 8th. It's going to be amazing. Oh, it's going to be amazing. So check Soon. that out as well. Um, and I hope you guys have an amazing weekend and we will see you guys Yay. back here next week. Bye, guys. Bye, everybody.